south of uh, where the tent is. And you can see that most of the trees are getting the leaves on them. Some of them are a little bit slower. Uh, I'm sure by the time we get up there, there's not going to be a whole lot of green on the trees yet. Well, we got 62 degrees outside. It feels pretty nice out there, except for that wind. And we have 52 degrees inside. I think I'll start a little fire in here, take the chill out of the air. Now that uh, there won't be any super hard freezes up here, at least not in the tent, I brought up all the canned stuff that I can leave all season until after deer hunting, or that last weekend of deer hunting. I brought up my girlfriend that my girlfriend bought me right there. I'll show you why I brought that up here in a minute. Alexa, play Jim Reeves. Shuffling songs by Jim Reeves. I wanted to show you this. Usually, I don't, uh, I don't do this, but this is from one of the trail cameras. That's it's about 200 feet from the tent. It's on one of them. that's on the tent driveway. Anyway, this was both of these are taken about a week apart. But look at this. Look at the size of that nice timber wolf right there. And then if I click to the next picture, there was two of them with wolves on it. This one is over on this corner. Right there. <laughs> I see them up here all the time, but I never can get them on film. I don't have my camera with me or whatever, so this is pretty neat. Oh, I still have stuff I got to unload out of the truck, like the cooler and and stuff. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get a bobber and a worm out there and see if we can catch any fish. Well, we'll see what happens. The only thing open right now, of course, is panfish. So can't fish for northerns or walleyes or anything like that until Saturday. I bought six more lighter fluids. <laughs> Oh, 
I brought up a porterhouse steak for tonight. I did bring up a package of pork steaks. Brought up a whole chicken in case we want to cook that on the fire, depending on if we catch fish or not. We want to do a fish fry. Got hamburgers for tomorrow's lunch, and I did bring up some eggs and some bacon and then a package of hot dogs. Always like to have extra food, and I brought up some biscuits in case we wanted to make any of those. Let that fire burn for a while and get some hardwood on there so I can get some good coals. I took off the worm and replaced it with a little minnow. We'll see if that helps. It'll be nice once I get out of here and quit fishing right here in front of the front of the tent. There's a lot of other areas to fish. Got a little hammer handle northern pike here. Throw him back. Season's not open yet. The slight breeze there is now slowly moves the bobber, or it was, to the right. So I was just reeling it in and I casted it back out and a northern hit right at the bobber. Hopefully they'll be active like that. Uh, today is Thursday on Saturday when it opens. It could be a fun day. Somebody asked in the last video, they said they're trying to do the potatoes on the coals like this and they can't get it right. How do you know when they're done? All you do is push on them. As soon as it's squishy, they're done. Okay guys, there's dinner. I'm gonna have me some fruit cocktail, a nice steak, and a baked potato, and a glass of milk. Come here, Chester. Come on. Good boy. I was just watching out the window when the bobber went down. Not bad. It's a nice little keeper perch right there.
inside. Okay, everyone. Well, tomorrow is a brand new day, and I am off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Zach just texted that he's leaving, so I should put him up here uh, between 11 and 12. Now that's a fry pan right there. <laughs> I found that at a thrift store. It's one of them big ones. You can do a huge fish fry. Okay guys, I'm going to run over to the folks' cabin, get the four-wheeler, bring it back here and try to pull that piece. This is loose, so I'll see how far I can pull it with the four-wheeler. didn't go too bad but that next section is still kind of attached but it might just crank right out I who knows I'll just hook up a chain and start pulling and see what happens
I tried lifting and just flipping this over, but unlike the other section, this one has a 2x10 or 2x12 bottom rails on it, so it's really heavy. Maybe I can just pull some of these boards off and make it a lot easier. There we go. I still have that post out there, but I'll wait till Zach comes. We're not going to make it out that far with the new dock. I just don't think that the posts are long enough. That's an eight-foot post out there, and I think it was years ago when I put that in, and it's only sticking above maybe six inches, so I can't remember. But anyway, once we get out there, then we can hook that one to the boat and give it a pull and see what happens. I feel like I'm already ready for lunch, and it's just about two, three minutes after nine o'clock in the morning. I'll let this sit here and dry out. The bottom pieces I can't burn because they're green treated, at least not on this top piece here. I don't can't remember if this was treated or cedar, but all of these are cedar, so I can just cut those and burn them in the fire pit. can't just pull one weed. Holy crap. Look at all that stuff. Now that'll be nice though. I want to be able to bring the boat in on either side of the dock. I'm just going to drive up here. Zachary, last time when he came up here with Samantha last fall, he got a flat tire on this road, so he wants to park out by the road and have me drive him in. And uh, he left just about exactly four hours ago, but he hasn't gotten a hold of me on the ride up to let me know and I don't think he gets good cell phone coverage up here so I'm gonna run up here and see if he's up here yet or not as I'm driving here he just texted and said he was here so perfect timing there he is Zach officially made it up here to do some fishing Sam. 
What is that? Pre oh, Primos? Yes. Have you used it at all? Set it up in the house? No. So of course the camera was off and Zach was, there's actually a piece of dock that's under the water on the ground and Zach was walking and he walked off the end and how, how deep did the water go? Uh, above the waders. <laughs>
Okay. Okay, Zach. Yeah. Yeah. Is it this next tree? Oh, I just missed it. Okay, Joel. Now we're going to try to attempt to get a strap around that post out there and maybe I can run it long enough to hook up to my truck again like we just did and pull that out. Well, I wonder if it would be better to lift up right there and strap around it. And like we just did? Right. So then we're not pulling the whole thing around. I don't know if it'll come up though. Because we won't lose this piece, and we wouldn't lose that piece. Oh yeah, we won't lose these two. So, that's kind of an important thing, I guess. Oh. Well, maybe I could just, maybe I can back my truck down there. Does your truck have tow hooks on the front? Uh, my new one does. I don't know if this one does. What's that sound? If it has tow hooks on the front. That way you'd be able to see what's going on. Is it moving it at all? Because I can't even feel it. I went off the... I just... Yeah, it's going. Right. Is he out of the way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got one team off. Pull it, son. <laughs> all I got is one post. Well, so far we've got the four sections in, and believe it or not, I can't believe we got the whole old dock out, even the two sections that were laying on the bottom of the lake. I mean, you've seen it. It took my truck to get them out of there, but at least everything is out. Now, my dad just was over here, picked up Zachary, and they're driving the trailer and stuff over to the boat launch to put in that little, um, oh, the mini pontoon to give it a shot, see if it works. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get in the boat right here. I need to get the gas tank, and I'm going to go over there and meet them because... Uh, then I'll kind of follow Zach over, make sure everything is working good. I love you, Zach, if I don't see you again. <laughs>
Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good. It actually works pretty good. Spin that thing around. <laughs> All right, I'll follow you back there. Work pretty good. <laughs> All right, well, I'll meet you over at the dock, okay? All right, well, this is back here now. We do still have sections of dock to put out there. But right now we're going to drive over and then walk out to Zachary's deer stand because he has a trail cam that he wants to put out there. And if we put it out today, we can run back out there tomorrow afternoon and see if there's any pictures and just kind of see how good the camera is. He's never used it before. Yeah, I'm just going right through. If your deer stand is right there, and we know they come up this trail and they go off to the left, something that covers that area so we can get them if they're coming from this way, coming from that way, or going off to the left. <laughs> Stand on these uh, pine cones and roll down like marbles. <laughs> now it's about five o'clock, and we're going to put another section of dock on. Well, that's as far as we could go on the dock. My longest poles, or whatever these things are called, were, I don't know, they were too short. So anyway, I'm going to have to get some new galvanized. I want to come out here one more section, and then we're going to tee it one to the left, one to the right, if we, uh, if we can do that. But we can't do it right now. This is as far as I can go. I need to get some 10-foot galvanized piping, whatever size this stuff is. And we'll have to get that in another time, but at least we're out this far, which is a lot nicer than what it was. So now it's time to get a campfire going because uh, those pork steaks aren't going to cook themselves.
Well, tonight it's going to be, of course, pork steaks and baked potato and a vegetable. And I think, I think I'm going to do all the pork steaks in there because if we don't catch any fish tomorrow, we kind of want to have a fish fry tomorrow. We do have hamburgers up here and hot dogs. If we don't, um, those pork steaks will be pretty good tomorrow. Zachary is out there talking to Samantha on the phone. I just got done talking to Melissa on the phone, and they've had some horribly rainy weather down there today. Tornado warnings, thunderstorm warnings. My bobber just went down again. There was something on it. Was there? Must have got off. I don't know if that's so. Look at that. That's a horrible cast. <laughs> I don't know. Did you lose my bait? Can't seem to get away from those bobbers long enough to get these things ready to go. One of the lines got snagged on a log over there. to just throw that can on the fire but now that it's nice and warm out I can do it in a pan so I can put butter in there and seasoning a little seasoning salt a little onion powder and some garlic powder Put them over here for right now, just for a second. This will only take a couple of minutes. They look good. Well, Zach just hopped in for a shower. 
the lake is trying to calm down. It's not quite glass yet, but I think it's going to make it. And it's almost 8 o'clock, and that's when I turn on Skype and talk to Melissa for a while. Another keeper perch right there. That's two of them towards our fish fry tomorrow. I think it's just caught on weeds. I, it wasn't down or anything. But it, when it, I hate when it goes to the right like that because it gets caught. Yeah. Oh, I might have a fish on. I do. You do. Oh, another nice perch. got there oh nice little northern again huh yeah. tomorrow they're fair game yeah. how bad did it swallow it uh it just got it around the uh right on here oh okay yeah tomorrow you're fair game nice there we go <laughs> let's toss her back tomorrow he's an eater Well, all the poles are pulled in for tonight. Tomorrow the real fishing opener starts. I told you not to bring the other one. You wouldn't believe her. Okay, everybody, well, it's time for bed. Tomorrow is the fishing opener. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. It's 33 degrees out, headed for 62 today. Sounds like there's going to be maybe some misty rain later this afternoon, but uh, for right now it's beautiful. Zach is still in there sleeping. And it's just a really nice morning. The 2017 Minnesota fishing season is officially open. Once Zach gets up we'll get in the boat and take off. It sounds like it's going to get windy this afternoon, 15 to 20 mile an hour wind. So kind of enjoying this nice glass lake right now while it lasts. Well, I wanted to wait until Zach woke up, but got to get out there and do some fishing.
looks like my dad took the little pontoon thingy out. He's probably trying to find me. This is the third beaver I've seen on the lake this morning. Well, I didn't get any bites when I was out that time. Uh, we'll just wait here. Zachary's still sleeping, and since he works that second shift, uh, his hours are different, so I'll just let him sleep, and we'll go out again later. I got my bobber out now. We'll see if anything happens. Zachary gets a bite. Oh, there we go, that's a nice eater too. Perfect, nice. You can see here another beaver house. This is the fourth or fifth one. That one's big. It is. Look at those birch trees all down over there. One more little one for Zach there. <laughs> We might as well eat him too. Oh, you want to get that hat? Yeah. Here you go. Got, a big one, but... got it. Oh, that's a good, nice eater. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that is a really nice fish. All right, we got another one. We're going to be eating good tonight. Yeah. All right, Zach. Oh, God. Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's a nice bass. Oh. <laughs> Very Sweet. nice. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't either. That is a nice bass. <laughs> wow. That's some nice fish there. Oh, We're going to yeah. head back and have some lunch. Well, we got back from fishing and uh, my brother Chris and sister-in-law Teresa were over at the my folks' cabin. So we went over there and visited for a while and then Chris and Teresa came over here and we're here for a while and now it's uh, a couple hours later. Zach and I had some lunch in there and now he's going back out fishing and pretty soon I'm going to clean up those fish. Well, I'm going to get my fillet knife. It's time to get these babies filleted up and ready for the fish fry. Well, I was just about to do those fish, and then George stopped by, and he has been here for a while chatting. So it was nice to talk to him. I haven't seen him since deer hunting, so that was kind of nice. But now Zach and I are going to run out to that trail cam that we put out yesterday, switch the SD card, and uh, see if there's anything on there, and then get back here so we can get a fire started, clean the fish, and then probably go out fishing again. So back out into the truck. Let's head for the deer stand. Yeah, if there would have been so a deer. Then, then we turned around. Okay. So yeah, it takes the yeah. 
That's pretty good. Seems to be set up correctly. The only thing it caught was us yesterday and us today, so nothing went by here, but at least it was set up perfectly down that trail. We're just out here walking around in the woods, and if you look down that, there's still snow down in that hole. <laughs> wow. Zachary is going to start a fire and he's not going to use lighter fluid. It's like against the rules up here. Oh yeah, one more. Yep. Look at how it got him. All three hooks. <laughs> oh wow, he really bit that. Yep. Yeah. All right, well we're going to throw that one back because we're still going to go out there tonight here and do a little fishing and maybe we'll catch a couple pounder. We have enough to eat, so we're doing good. Now I got to pull the Y bones. There we go, one nice boneless piece of northern pike. Nice little slab of meat there. Mm -hmm. While Zachary's in there cleaning up those fillets, I'm going to save all this for crayfish bait. That season is right around the corner. We got a good mess of fish there. Oh yeah. I'm surprised how big some of these fillets are. Yeah. Zachary just got a nice northern there and I grabbed the net and there's a fishing pole ta hooked onto it and then I put it under the fish, come up out of the water and it let go of the lure and it fell into the net. <laughs> yeah, that might be, I'd say two and a half, three pounder. Nice yeah. eater. I mean, that's on the bigger side of eating it. That's nice. <laughs> they like this color. Yeah, they do. So we threw that one back because, I mean, it was an eater but a little bit on the small side. We would have been done otherwise. Sweet. 
We're by Beaver House number two. Got some good luck. Yeah, that's a nice bass. Awesome. Let me take a photo of this thing. Put that one on the stringer and we can still go fishing. That was a bass. We can get one more northern. throw him back too. There's one more. <laughs> Alright everyone, well we're gonna head back to the tent. We easily caught over our limit if we would have kept the fish for the northern, so we did good. It's getting late though, we gotta do a fish fry, start getting things packed up to head home tomorrow. We still have two fish to clean. get these two filleted and cleaned up and in the freezer. I'll get this washed up and uh, send this northern and bass home with Zachary and him and Samantha can have a nice fish meal. Just about time to fry up those fish. Is that northern or is that bass? These are all northern. The bass are going to be the last thing. Oh yeah. Got some nice chunks there. Mm -hmm. And so it's a bass filet right here. Alright, well Zachary's finishing up the fish. I'm going to make some Uncle Ben's rice. I still have fish to clean and put away. We have dishes to do. Everything is such a mess here right now. The fish are done. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, this thing's getting hot now. <laughs> Vegetable oil pollutes the world. <laughs> no. Zach is in the shower right now. When he's out, I'll heat up some water and I'll take a shower. 
we're going to have some cleanup to do tomorrow, and it's not going to be leaving right away in the morning. So, still have things to do. Zachary, he's going to take home those uh, the two fresh fish that we just cleaned here, and I get to take this home, and I'll have a good supper tomorrow. Yeah, it would be. Well, it's almost a quarter after 11. I'm going to head to bed right now. I don't know how late Zach's going to stay up. But tomorrow we'll get up, finish cleaning everything up, and we'll head home. We'll see you guys tomorrow. picking stuff up getting ready to head home kind of a good day for it too that wind is coming off the lake it's right now it's only 39 degrees out not near as nice of the day as the last two have been so anyway just picking things up almost time to head south Okay, everyone, well, once again, everything is shut down now, cleaned up, ready for the next time up here. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys on the next video. Five more months and there's dinner. <laughs>